Hello everybody, a good day to you all today. I am talking about Supergirl, season number three, episode number 21, Not Kansas. This is episode directed by Dermot Downs, and here we have a lot of things happening. Okay, first off, we start off with, um, um, Samantha, a.k.a. Rain. She's been locked up by, um, by Nina Luther because she's trying, Nina's trying to find a cure for her, and so you have Supergirl, and you got, um, Mon L, who go to who go to this uh, this um this new planet, I guess you can say, and where she finds her mother and everything, and they had the material that she needs to help save um Rain and try to separate her, separate Rain and Samantha from each other, so Rain so Samantha can live a normal life with her daughter and 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 live happy ever after ever after. And well, things are going well. They 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 get the, they get the the, the the meter right that they need. They go back to Earth. They give um. They give Samantha the, the rain, the, the cure, and, and then that, it seems like everything's good. Yay! So now Samantha can be with her daughter, and then Supergirl says, You know what? I've seen my mom. My mom's alive. So I'm going to go back home, and I'm going to live with them. And Monel, and then she says, Hey, Monel, what are you doing? He said, Well, I got nothing else better to do with my time. She said, How about you come on with me? He said, Okay, fine, whatever. And so they, they, so they, go, so they go back to, to, to Argos, and so she's going to stay with her mom, get to know her mom, and also see her old friends. And, and, and while she's there, things are a little weird. Lady a little weird, and she's noticing that everybody's keeping telling Supergirl, Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. She said, "If you say so, but I don't. I don't think so." And then you have, then you got, got back on Earth. You have what's going on. Um, some guns get um on the street. Some powerful guns get on the street, and the DOA gets involved because the guns that they're using are the same guns that the DOA used to, to stop and fight aliens. And so now you got um. You got um, John trying to figure out where these guns come from, how they get on the street, and then to stop it. And he's also dealing with the fact that his father is starting to lose his memory, and his father wanted to do that that last ritual thing, whatever. And John doesn't want to do it because he feels as though my dad is fine, he's okay. If I do the last ritual thing, that means it's actually over. He, but he's gonna lose his mind, and I'm gonna lose my dad, and I don't want that to happen. So he's trying to avoid it, which is really messed up. And also, we get this whole thing on gun control laws. Now. I did like this episode, but that part of the show was a little weird for me because, okay, I understand what they're doing. There's a lot of shooting going on in the world, which is really messed up. And we, and we have a, a, in America, we have this messed up thing with, with gun control. It's horrible. I mean, how many shootings in schools do we have to see? Or a shooting in, a, in an art festival? I mean, how many do we have to go through? It's just too much. It happens. It happens way too many times. So I understand what the message they were trying to say, but at the same time, I don't think it fit within the show because they make a. This is a spoiler right here. They make a decision to that John make a decision to pretty much give up their their their, um, their lethal their gun their guns and start using non lethal weapons. I said, oh well, I guess. Here's the thing. The weapons they were using, they're not using that to fight people on the street. They're using it to fight alien monsters or alien, huge power alien threats that a regular gun won't really stop. So, a non-lethal weapon, I'm not so sure will stop these threats that's going to come to Earth. I mean, what is going to do against rain, a non-lethal weapon? Nothing. So, I guess. I mean, most of the time, their guns that they're using doesn't even stop these monsters. So, how would... Uh, so, I guess. I mean, I, like I said, I understand what they're trying to do. They even had Jimmy in there talking about his shield and all that crap. I'm saying, that I don't know if that actually works within the show. It made no sense to me. I mean, I, like I said, I get the message. I understand what they're doing. And I'm all for gun control and stuff like that. But for the show, it, it doesn't work. I mean, this. Sometimes when you try to keep it real, it doesn't fit the fantasy. That's going on within the show, so it kind of conflicted between one another. Like this, even even the decision they made, I was just, is that the right decision? I don't think so. But that part was kind of weird. But the part that I did like, I did enjoy the parts with with Kara on back home with her parent with her mom, and 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 learning this whole new world and trying to, and trying to adjust. And then you you find out that everything's not exactly how it seems. And also, you got Mount L confessing to her that he has feelings for her and stuff like that too. And he, he's trying to deal with that situation. 
So, overall, I did enjoy it, but I didn't quite like it completely because that whole thing with the whole gun control situation, which I, I totally understand, didn't seem to work for me in, in this episode. And then you also get text, Miss Textmaker, just text, Miss Textmaker, she gets an, an upgrade in a way. You find out that she has a, a science background, which came out of nowhere. I, I found whatever. So now she's working alongside Lita to help her with this whole meteorite situation. Fine. Which is pretty weird because if she has a science background in science, why in the world is she being a secretary? Why does she decide to go in that direction? That makes no freaking sense. Like, okay, wh all right, whatever. Sure. All of a sudden, now she's a scientist now. I guess you're gonna. I guess you're gonna have a bigger role now because Samantha's out a little bit out of commission right now. So they still got filling this spot. So they put. So they said, "Hey, you could be a scientist now too." For out of nowhere. Okay, fine, whatever. Okay, I guess. Hopefully it works. I don't know. So overall, this episode was a part. The parts of the whole Kryptonian stuff, I I did enjoy. The stuff on Earth, uh, not so much. I mean, it's still really messed up watching John dealing with this whole situation with his father. But overall, this episode was just okay for me. It wasn't, I didn't really love it, so... I didn't hate it completely either. It was just alright. But leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this episode of Supergirl. And if you haven't watched it, check it out for yourself. Hope when you watch it, you will enjoy it and have fun watching it too. So give my channel a big like, hit the thumbs up. Shabu! And subscribe to my channel. And share. I really, really appreciate it. Hit, hit, also, hit, hit the little bell at the bottom so you get notified every time I make a video. And if you're watching the video and you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I really, really appreciate it. So like I always say in my dreams and in my life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, people.